What is up guys this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a cool text animation just like this one in Adobe Premiere Pro. By the end of this tutorial you will be able to not only make this cool animation but you can also save it as a template so that you can use it again and again. So without wasting any more time let's jump into the tutorial. So here you can see I have already made the text animation right. So first let's delete all the things that we don't need because we are going to make this one right so first you need to make a color mat so go here on this project panel and then right click and then new item and from here click on color mat so this will be the color mat that we are going to use for this demonstration and choose ok and select a color that you want to use as a background so i'm selecting a color that is likely this one which is orange color right so this is our color mat which is our background now you have to make a new sequence right click here and again go here on this new item then click sequence and then made a sequence if you want to use this template for 4k video make a 4k sequence if you want to use the template or animation for 1080p video you can make it 1080p sequence right so i'm making a 4k sequence which is 3840 into 160 right just give it a name i'm just naming it text animation then click ok so here is our sequence now click and drag this color mat here on this timeline right then zoom in press alt and then scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in to your timeline so here is our background now i have to add a text to add text you have to click here which is type tool click here and then click here to make any text just write whatever you want i'm just writing james prince then you can select the text just by triple clicking here to select all the text or you can just click and drag to select the text then go to window and from here you have to go to essential graphics click here then this panel will appear and from here you can select any font that you want to use for this text i am just using gotham and the uh, width is ultra then i'm just making it a little bit small just like that then you can click here on the center align text and then you can place the text at the center of your frame right you can also make it as a lower third so you can just click and drag it here and you can put it here to make a lower third but for this tutorial i'm just making a title so i'm keeping it at the center of this frame right now we are going to start animating so this is our text this is our background click and drag this text at the beginning of your timeline and then to make a warp text animation we need to use a effect go to effect panel which is window and then click effects so search for wave warp so we're going to use this effect which is wave warp click and drag this effect here on your text layer just release it then you see the text shape have been changed it is looking like wavy right if i just press the space bar it will play back and you'll see there is a wave going on right so go to effects control panel and from here you can change the wave type right i'm just using square wave or i can just use the sine wave then i can change the wave height and width to make it whatever i want i will just keep it just like that i will not use a lot of wave width maybe eight and seven if i play it back you'll see it is looking like there is a wave going on right now we need to posterize this waveform right so we want to achieve a effect which will look like a stop motion animation to achieve that you need to apply another effect which is posterize time right you have to search for posterize then you will see posterize time under the time folder click and drag this on your text layer just release it now from this posterize time effect you need to change the frame rate so i will just keep it maybe four or five just make it four now if i play it back you'll see the wave is looking like a little bit jerky right which is we want we want to make a animation which will look like stop motion text animation so that is what we are looking for now we have to add some noise so that it look like chalk type effect right so go here and search for a effect called noise then apply effect called 
noise alpha under the obsolete folder click and drag it here now increase the noise amount maybe two or three percent or ten percent or twenty percent whatever you like i'll just keep it twenty percent so that is our final animation if i play it back you'll see the animation is looking like this right so if you want to save it as a template so that you can use it again and again you have to make a essential graphics template so uh, if you want to use it as essential graphics template then the color mat will not work so you can just disable it and to add a background you can go to essential graphics and from here we can add a rectangle to make a rectangle click here and then select rectangle then click and drag this rectangle to make a background then you can center it click and drag the shape at the end of this layers right just like that so it will act like a background so if i play it back now you will see the background is also affected by the effect so we don't want that so we are going to select this 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 and this and then we'll press ctrl or command and then we'll click on this folder icon to keep all this layer under a folder so it will not affect the background if we do that right so these effects are not affecting my background now right so if i play it back now you will see the effect is not applying on the background now to make a essential graphics template go here on this graphics and titles and there you will see export as a motion graphics template click here then give it a name gems title and then you can save it on your my library then click ok it will save it on the essential graphics my library section so after saving we'll see where we can find that so if you want to use this you have to go to essential graphic from here go to browse and from this section select your library and you will see here is our effect so from here you have to just click and drag it on your timeline and you can use it again and again for any project you don't need to apply any effects from now you can just play it back and if you want to change the text just double click here and write whatever you want suppose i want to write premiere pro so i'm just selecting all the text and writing premiere pro so this is the text you don't need to do anything just play it back you'll see the effects is visible here so that's it that is how you can make this text effect in adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye